Hi, Sasha. How are you? I'm all right. So I asked you a question before we started rolling tape here about the system okay. and about how it may or may not be. What are your feelings about how we're dealing with keeping our children safe? You said you were a foster child, right? Yes. Tell me about that experience. It was awful because uh, my sister was much younger and I was already a teenager. Most foster parents want a small child that they can build their own morals into. I was already set in my ways so nobody wanted to adopt me. I bounced around from behavioral center to group home, hospital, and they pretty much just treated me like, it made me feel like I was unwanted. Like you were unwanted. And let me ask you this. Let's move ahead to today. You're how old today? I'm 31. And how old were you when you were in the system? From um, 13 to 18. To 18. And what's your life like right now as we sit here? Right now, I'm still unstable because of, I believe, because of my history of moving around in the foster system. I have not still been able to bring my own stability in my life. Do you have a home right now? You don't have a home right now. And what's it like waking up every day having to face what you face? Is it easy? It's very hard. And I believe a lot of people aren't as strong and would be able to do what I do. There you go. So if you could say one thing to a person out there who has the capacity to love a child and house a child but hasn't made that decision to help a child, what would you say to them? I would say go go for it. If you think that you can do it, I think every that's all I ever wanted was to be adopted. And I never have been. So now I'm going to make sure that my, my child and my future children will never have to experience what I went through. You're a beautiful spirit. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I love you.